Hi, my name is Larry Burrow. I'm a native Californian. I've lived here in the Central Valley and worked in agriculture pretty much all my life. I studied agriculture at Fresno State and I've worked in various uh, agricultural industries and have worked here at the Merced County Cooperative Extension Office for the last 12 years. My job title here is as an agricultural field technician and my job, a large part of it, is to assist all of the county uh, farm advisors here in our office and other counties in uh, setting up, monitoring, and collecting data from their field trials. Many of those which uh, are set up to uh, evaluate a pest or develop some technology to reduce the effect of that pest. Pest control is a large part of what I do uh, with the farm advisors, uh, monitoring, spraying, evaluating their research field trials. My perspective on IPM or integrated pest management is pretty much that from a field worker's view. In, the, in my life, I've applied an awful lot of chemicals and it's important to me for those to be very safe. And the benefit that I've seen from integrated pest management in my lifetime is the reduction in exposure to dangerous chemicals for farm advisors, farmers, growers, and for myself as a field worker. If I have to go out into a field and spray a very strong pesticide that may have an effect on me, of course, that's important to me. Integrated pest management involves, among other things, developing techniques and technologies that target specific pests. And a big benefit of that is the reduction in the effect on other animals and pests, including humans. In many cases, IPM will target a specific physiological aspect of the animal's life. For example, the production of a type of enzyme or something like that in the body that a human or a mammal would not even be affected by. By reducing the effect of insecticides or control techniques on other animals, such as other insects or mammals, uh, in many cases, those animals will then live to help actually keep a dangerous pest or uh, an economically uh, important pest under check because those animals are then available to either eat them or destroy them. I will go out into a field and monitor or apply some technique to control a pest. And IPM has helped to reduce the danger to me as a farm worker by reducing the levels or the usage of dangerous chemicals to control pests and instead look at what will control the pest at a either economically or effective level without exposing me as a farm worker to pesticide. A good example of how integrated pest management has been a benefit to uh, not only the ag industry but to the individuals who work in it, such as field workers, um, is the change in perspective and uh, the effect on the farm worker, uh, in my case, uh, from, for example, the late 60s and early 70s uh, to today. Uh, in the early 70s and then up through the early 80s, uh, I had, again, worked on farms. And in the late 70s, I had worked in a orchard uh, for a couple of years, tending it. And it was not uncommon for uh, my uh, boss to bring chemicals to me and tell me these need to be applied. They were herbicides or pesticides without really a lot of information uh, regarding the dangers of that pesticide to me. Uh, so I would take them, read what I could off the label, uh, and this was before I had attended the university and, and I didn't understand a lot of the things that were on those labels, uh, and to be honest, in many cases, didn't read it thoroughly. Today, with today's chemicals that are available uh, and the changes in guidelines and regulations and IPM, uh, Chemicals are safer to use and uh, they're understood. Um, and the effects on humans are, uh, in many cases, reduced. But when there is uh, going to be an effect on humans, uh, 
in most cases, those effects are clearly understood by the farm worker or explained to them because in many cases the growers know uh, what the effects are going to be and they have many more tools that will have less of an effect on the farm worker. Today, with the benefits of IPM and the reduced effect of chemicals on humans and targeting specific pests, uh, the chemicals that are used by farm workers are safer to them, uh, better understood, and the growers and the farmers who use them um, because of the techniques and the chemistry are more attuned to what, how it affects not only the other insects in the field, but also the farm worker. And that makes it safer for the farm worker.